back to Mac Land Cadet. Today we're going to put the dual remote in the 782 project. We have the holes knocked out in the front and we're going to do the process right here. We have all our tools laid out, our brackets, and we won't need all these tools, but we're going to go through the process. We're going to go kind of slow and make it very easy and very detailed for you. The first thing you want to do, and I already have this labeled because I took the valve off in this bracket top. Right here, you use this hole, this hole, and then you use this hole. It, it's, it's a good idea to do that so when you go to put it in, you, you don't have to look at where it came out of. Now, this dual remote has never been in this machine. This one had a single remote uh, from the factory, and these are, of course, all parts out of the salvage yard. But let's start putting it in. We'll put the bracket in first. Now we're just going to put it in snug. We're gonna lay it out like so. I how to take these bolts off. Put the handle through the dash. Now you definitely want to keep this intact here. Okay, now we're going to put the side bracket in first. This is not the easiest job in the world, you just have to be patient with it. Thing you want to do is you're going to have to get the lines hooked up correctly. Now this valve here I did notice when I started putting it in is set up for power steering so I will have to cover that plug because I do not plan on putting power steering in this machine whatsoever. Okay now we're going to use the back plate. I'm going to slide it where up a little bit. Put the bolts in it.
reach right around the back side and put that one on. Makes it 716. You want to tighten them right up. Okay, and it's pretty much lined up. Now, one thing is you want to have them, the levers, right about in this, right in the dead center right there. So that makes it so you can use it and it'll be set up just about correct. Here's that, so we'll get a half inch and we'll tighten them up. All they have to be is tight enough so the valve doesn't go up and down. Make sure that it's nice and tight. We'll tighten up the sides. We'll make sure that it's, yep. Now the valve is installed. Now let's start hooking up the lines. Now this has extra lines on it because I want to keep everything organized on it. I'll grab every wrench I possibly need. We're going to hook up the cylinder first. And obviously this one right here is the shortest one. So we'll take this line off and this will hook up the lift cylinder. And these are self-sealed GIC. Yeah, nine sixteenths. We're going to tighten them right up. Take this line off. One's a return and one's the power. Now the cylinder will be hooked up. We're going to hook up the main return and power. Now, if you look right here, I have them marked out, in. On the valve, we're gonna come over and 
we're going to, we have in, and this obviously is going to be out. And they're labeled right there, out, and there's in. So we'll follow the line. Now, these lines here are a little bit longer and I'll have to tape them off because I was going to put this in a super cub. So right here's your in. Want to find some place to put these lines. Tighten it right up. Now, if this was original, it would be all rigid lines, but actually it makes it a lot easier if they're rubber lines, to be honest with you. And I'll find some place to put that off camera. And obviously you're going to just check it. Here's your out. It's going to be on the top. It says out right there. Actually, I'm going to turn that fitting just a tad. I'm going to loosen it up on the O-ring a little bit. Now eventually I'll get a plug and I'll plug that off right there. So I'm not gonna put power steering on it like I was saying that, but make sure live uh, fluid for your hydraulic uh, orbital motor. Okay, now we're on to the lines. I'll take this one off first. Doesn't matter which one is up on this, it doesn't make any difference. You can put them on the bottom and we'll start right on the bottom. I'm going to need to have to hook these anyways when I put the motor in, but I'll get them hooked up today. Run them through the holes. Actually, I think something I ought to do first is I'm going to come around and get a... I'm going to use a... Uh, E-clip. And I'm going to change it. I'm going to try to use one of these instead of the other uh, type of snapper. And it will work better as soon as I get it in there. There. That made it a lot better fit, a lot easier install. I was thinking about that the other day and I thought, you know, I think that'll work better. This actually, this idea worked very well.
just make sure the levers and everything feel about right. And they do. Now there's a dual removal setup for a 782 Cadet. It's the same on any of them. 1872, anything that has live hydraulics, you can put the dual remotes on. This project went a lot smoother than I anticipated. I so appreciate you tuning in. Please like and subscribe, and thank you for tuning in to Macland Cadets.